Hey guys, it's Mike here and welcome to Autoblog. In today's video, we are taking a look at the baseline Ford Escape. This car is the brand new 2017 Ford Escape that was just released. I recently did a another Ford Escape review which was of the titanium so what i wanted to do is check out this baseline ford escape today to see what the differences are because <clears throat> there is a big price difference between a baseline and a top of the line model obviously no matter what brand it is a lot of people want to know what they get for all the money when they're buying the top of the line titanium versus what a baseline has so i'm out here taking a drive in the uh, 2017 ford escape s and just driving on the road in lower speeds you don't really notice a difference at all now one key point is that the engine that you get in the base model ford escape is the inline four which has 168 horsepower and 170 pound-feet of torque so there's no eco boost for the baseline you have to step up to an SC or a titanium to get either the 1.5 liter eco boost or the 2 liter eco boost which is the most powerful one so the 2 liter eco boost has 245 horsepower and 275 torque the 1.5 EcoBoost has 179 horsepower. This only having 168, you do notice a difference in the pickup. Fuel economy is rated at 29 miles per gallon on the highway versus 30 for the 1.5 EcoBoost that also has more power. But it does have the turbo, which helps it out. It gives it more power, then also helps it out on highway driving now obviously I am stuck in traffic here so <laughs> not that I was going to really open it up with this tiny engine but you do want the sense of is the pickup there if I need it to be when I'm merging onto a highway or I need to pass someone and it does have power but it, it can't compare to the EcoBoost engines it sits on 17 inch wheels, not the big 18 or 19 inch that you can get in the other models. Do I notice a huge, huge difference? No. Is there a little difference? Yes. Will the average buyer that doesn't really care about bigger wheels and having slightly better handling gonna notice that? No, I don't think so. Ford Escape is very comfortable to drive these seats that we have in this base model here is the two-tone cloth seats you can also get those in the SC and I like them they're very comfortable they're soft I mean the, the what they're supposed to be in a SUV the Ford Escape competes with the Honda CRV for the number one sold SUV in its class and I can see why. I mean, it is a very comfortable little SUV to drive. And as many of you know, I do sell Fords for a living. And any car salesman know, you should not profile your customers when they walk in the showroom <laughs> before you talk to them. But many times when a woman walks in and she's by herself, it's usually an escape she's looking for it's just so common I mean we do very well with with the escapes and not just women men like them as well but it's mainly women that the Ford Escape is aimed at and they are the primary buyer Ford Escape comes in three different trim levels is this the base model and then the SE and then the titanium and within the trim levels they have different equipment packages as well so what we are going to do is take a look at today's vehicle and see what differentiates it from 
a higher trip. What do you lose out on? What do you gain? What do you really care about when it comes to features? If you're the type of person that just wants, you know, the bare bones, then the Ford Escape S is a good choice for you. Standard features include backup camera, Bluetooth, and those are two features that personally I can't live without. I have to be able to have Bluetooth and I am so used to a backup camera now that I wouldn't want a car that doesn't have it. So let's take a look at the 2017 base model Ford Escape. Okay, so here it is, the 2017 Ford Escape base model. Now the color that is on this specific Ford Escape here today is a new color for 2017. It is called Canyon Ridge. It's a nice color in my opinion. Brown-ish, I would say. I mean, it is brown, obviously. Just a fancy name for brown. Called Canyon Ridge. It's a metallic color. Hopefully you can't see all the pollen that is on the vehicle here today because of the weather that's the way most all these cars look but let's walk around the car here so you can see it from every angle Now let's take a look at some of the exterior features that sets a baseline trim level Ford Escape apart from an SE or a Titanium. We'll walk over to the side mirror here. You see they are not body color, they're black. Typical base model. There's no chrome grill. It's a black grill. I actually like the grill. I think it looks kind of sporty. That's a nice look in my opinion. Now the turn signals here in yellow versus a SC or a um, titanium that has fog lights down here. On the base model it is yellow. Wheels are 17 inch but as you can see, they are not any aluminum wheels, more hubcaps. Uh, the 2017 Escape has been face lifted. Not a complete redesign, but it definitely has some exterior differences. For me, I mean, I see Ford Escapes all day long. I can definitely see a difference here in the taillight, the design of it. As we move over here, as all Fords have, is the capless fuel tank system. You stick the nozzle in there, you never have to worry about messing around with the cap. Just a very nice and convenient feature. And the gas tank actually holds 15.7 gallons in a Ford Escape. Uh, we're gonna go back to the front fascia of the escape here and take a look at the headlights. They are redesigned as well. Now the engine in the base model Ford Escape is the two and a half liter inline four, putting out 168 horsepower and 170 pound feet of torque. That is the only engine that is available for the baseline. Also, front wheel drive is the only drivetrain that is available for a baseline Ford Escape. As we open the tailgate here, you have a button right underneath. And as well, you can see the backup camera lens right there. No power lift gate available for a baseline Escape. 
although you do have the same amount of cargo space and room. So you have 34 cubic feet of cargo space with the second row seats up. If you fold them down, you have 68 cubic feet of cargo space. Now as it starts raining here, it's fitting to jump inside the car. So I am six foot two and there's plenty of headroom in a Ford Escape. I fit just fine. Now I'm sitting behind my uh, prior driving position here uh, when I was driving the car and this is the amount of knee room that I have. I mean, they have, or the, the Ford Escape has kind of carved seats here to, to help out with the knee room, which is very nice. But sitting behind someone my height, it is a little cramped. Not headroom wise, but leg room, yes. Now down here, we have a 12 volt outlet to charge cell phones and such with. You have a little cubby right there. As you can see, the headrests, they fold down. There's a button on the side here. See if you can see that right there. Just push it and they fold down, which uh, simplifies getting the uh, seat down flat for better cargo space. I can demonstrate here. All right, so you pull this lever right here, and the seat comes down completely flat. Still have mat pockets, nice to have. So let's jump inside the uh, Ford Escape and take a look at the interior. So we see the door panel here, everything is in black. There's no uh, chrome accents or carbon fiber or any other color that kind of sets it apart. Door handle is black as well. You get your unlock and lock buttons. Cubby down here. A base model Escape, no power seats. You have a lever here to adjust the seat to get it up, and then you have your lever here for for the back, and then a lever right here to move the seat front and back. There were light switches, automatic lights all the way to the right. You have interior dimming, and then your and then your lift gate release button right there. I'm going to start the car up here. By the way, regular key for the Ford Escape uh, base model, unlock, lock, and panic button. Turn the stereo down. I hope you can hear me. It's, um, as you can see here, very warm day in Pittsburgh today it's not quite 97 degrees I think that uh, temperature meter is um, exaggerating a little bit here but it is very warm it's definitely 85 86 so I need to get some air conditioning on here so I don't sweat to death so here we can take a look at the steering wheel same as on all escapes, whether it's an SC or a titanium, you have buttons on the left side of the steering wheel that controls this instrument cluster in the middle, where you have all your trip information, trip timer. This is a nice screen here showing you four different types of information. Your trip meter, average miles per gallon, instant fuel economy, uh, bottom left, and then how many miles you have till empty tank. Now this is a brand new vehicle, 14 miles, 
it never has any gasoline when it comes straight from the factory. As we scroll down on the button here, you have a digital speedometer, trip meters, and so on. You have a tachometer there, and then your speedometer right here to the right. The base model Ford Escape does not get the Sync 3 infotainment system. You have a 4-inch LCD screen up top here that displays the backup camera, which is a standard feature for all Ford Escapes since 2015. You have guidelines for when you're turning. However, the backup sensors are not standard that is still an option so we move on here to the center stack you have just touch buttons then a regular stereo love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. still works but it's not the Sony stereo system with subwoofers and such Bluetooth is a standard feature as well. You can sync your phone up. You have voice activation button right there and how to answer your phone and volume. Right there. We have the select shift transmission. It's a six speed transmission where you can shift manually um, without a clutch. So you can put it in S for sport or keep it in drive and then you can use the, the manual shift buttons on the left side of the gear lever. Now as we move over here, you have a USB port and a 12 volt. Cup holders. And then your electronic parking brake which is a standard feature on all Ford Escapes as well. Previous generation had a regular handbrake located right here that you would pull. This works the same way. Put your foot on the brake and then you just pull up and it engages and then you push down to release. Now for the mid console you have two different levers here. Push this one and it opens it completely up. Push the one to the right and it just opens the top part here and then you have a area where you can store coins and so on. If you haven't noticed yet, the base model Ford Escape comes with cloth interior, two-tone. I don't think it looks bad at all. It's a nice interior and these seats are very comfortable as I mentioned on the test drive already. Now, as we look up here, you have a sunglass holder right there. Then here you have vanity mirrors, no lights in a base model. A lot of people, customers of mine, they ask when they first see it what these are, but they those are the turn dials to turn the vents on and off. department box right there and just very simple climate controls self-explanatory now the steering wheel will uh, tilt up and down obviously and also telescope 
just pull that lever right there and then you can pull the steering wheel towards you and also go up and down and then you just lock this in place for your preferred driving condition here You have a manual dimming for the rear view mirror. Okay, so I think that that does it for the base model Ford Escape. Um, there's not as much to go through because there's not as many features on the interior here. Uh, but let me know what you think of the 2017 Ford Escape S, which is the base model. I, I wanted to make this review uh, because most of the cars that actually interest me the most are uh, the top of the line models that have all the features. I mean, uh, I like the bells and whistles myself, but I do know that there's a lot of people that just want the plain Jane. They don't really care about all that stuff, and that's why base models are around. And I mean, if you look at it, you can almost save around $20,000 from the lower end Ford Escape to the higher end Ford Escape. It's not quite that much, but it's very, very close. Um, this Ford Escape right here is stickered at around 24,000, but uh, the only option on it is remote start. That's gonna be installed here uh, at our dealership. It hasn't been installed yet, but that is pretty much the only option. I mean, this is a stripped down Ford Escape this is what you get if you're looking for the bare bones and not spend all your money. I guess one thing that I can mention here is that all Ford Escapes or all Fords have the blind spot mirror. That is a standard, so you have this extra little mirror here. I love this feature on my own car, which is sitting right there actually. <laughs> So for those of you who know and have followed the channel for a little while, you know I drive the Ford Fusion. This was the review of the base model 2017 Ford Escape. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If this was your first time checking out the channel, please browse it. Watch some of the other videos. If you like them, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.